been tried for war crimes. I mean, using slave labor in which thousands of people died to build his rockets for Adolf Hitler. Should have been charged for it. The reason he wasn't is a devil's deal the United States made. Von Braun was knew if he got captured by the British Army, they would try him for war crimes. He did not want to work as a prisoner under Joseph Stalin's post-war missile program. So his only real chance was to cut an elaborate deal with the United States. And what he did right was he gathered all of the top rocket scientists, then took all of, he was an SS officer. He then was able to order trains with all of the blueprints, war materials of his rocket program and hide them in a cave and blow up the cave and then disappear to the Bavarian Alps and send his younger brother Magnus on a bicycle to look for the U.S. Army to surrender. He eventually went up the chain of command and it was up to Truman to decide what to do with Bob Ron and they decided he had such scientific know-how that we will overlook, we will, we will basically whitewash his World War II record in order to have him work for the U.S. government. And Bob Ron comes and he doesn't like talking about or will talk about World War II. His first speech is to the El Paso Rotary Club where he talks about going to the moon and Mars. And then Walt Disney discovers him and puts him on his television show throughout the 50s as his space buddy. And um, Von Braun becomes a household name, and he's able to use his fame to convince people to fund his rockets for military purposes, but also Von Braun always had his eyes on the moon and Mars. And Kennedy was enamored with Von Braun when he flies down and takes the tour of Cape Canaveral and Huntsville. There's Von Braun leading him around. Kennedy admired Von Braun. Did, was there ever any sense that he ever, JFK did, grappled with the sort of moral ambiguity at best of using this Nazi war criminal as his uh, guide to make the space program work. Well, you know, Kennedy met Von Braun in 1953 when he, he was a judge with Von Braun for, again, Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Kennedy and Von Braun went out all over Manhattan together, dined, they got along famously. Kennedy held no animosity towards him. Jack Kennedy viewed it as the older, that they were both 20th century guys that had to serve in World War II, that the 19th century men were Churchill, Adenauer, De Gaulle, Stalin, the people born in the 19th century, they saw themselves as just following orders. And to be fair to Kennedy on this point, by 1953, I mean, we're trying to build up West Germany as our closest ally and Japan as our best friend, which is so few years earlier, uh, they were our enemy. So Kennedy, Von Braun liked that about Jack Kennedy. He could tell that there wasn't a chip on his shoulder. He didn't treat him as if he were a Nazi. And, and Eisenhower didn't like Von Braun, and so Ike greenlights the Vanguard rocket program that was our U.S. Navy rockets. Well, those are the rockets you see collapsing in video or film footage at Cape Canaveral. You don't see Von Braun rockets collapse because he was that good of rocket engineer. And so when Kennedy's in, a, in the bind in 1961, he, he's looking for that meat frog, and Von Braun's telling him, I can do it. I don't know how, but I'll get us to the moon. I can do it. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. I don't know.
get German Army funding for this nice project. It's the top one. Yeah. I will do it because I can go. You did that. You did that. And so if he could get through it, he would say he was like a Nazi. So Sorry. He, he's not a sustainable hero. And I'm very hard on it in my book where you can't ignore him as if you're a day. There she is.